Good evening, Linda. Well, it means that panhandlers can continue to do what they have been doing, solicit money from drivers here at busy intersections, such as this one at Kennedy and Dale Mabry. And it also means now that this proposed ban got defeated of people who sell newspapers, they can be able to do that, can, can continue to do that again as well. I, I just thank God. Oscar in Terrialgo is counting his blessings that he can continue to sell newspapers on Tampa Street Sundays. I really didn't know where my next meal was going to come from. I depend on this job. In Terrialgo, just one of dozens of people glad that Tampa City Council voted against a partial panhandling ban on the busiest streets in the city. It would have applied to nonprofit groups and hundreds of newspaper vendors, many showing up to Thursday's council meeting, speaking out against it. Please don't take our job away from us because this is the only thing that we have. The majority of council members didn't think a partial ban was the way to go. Some say it would only make things worse by forcing panhandlers to the smaller roads. You're driving the nail back into the neighborhood where exactly are the same people you're trying to save. But others consider the partial ban the best solution instead of a full ban, which wouldn't allow panhandling on any streets in the city. It's a little disappointing, but I, I feel good that I made an attempt to try to reach a compromise. Not believe that we won this one and I'm sure we'll be back here again <laughs> at another time. But at least for now, Interialgo still has a job. Which means I make my little hundred bucks next week, <laughs> this weekend, and I'm proud about that. Now, many seem to think that this uh, is far from over as far as this proposed ban. They think that come April, when the new city council is seated, that this will come up again and that this time it will be the full ban that they'll be pushing for. We're live tonight in Tampa, Althea Paul, ABC Action News.